the Broncos, we used to have these awesome golf days. Golf days. <laughs> Basically just big piss-ups after pre-season's finished and it's all sponsored. So sponsor holes, you know, there's lovely ladies at some holes and, and whatnot. But this one, um, I think it might have been Pelican Waters in the Sunshine Coast mm. where I think it's just been done up there um, and there used to be a hotel literally right on the course. We'd go there, we'd stay the night and then we'd go out and play. This is like another one of those stories where uh, we went to the races that time and people got hurt. Uh, people got hurt. Yeah, people got hurt. So <laughs> who would have thought you could go, put a whole group of uh, top 30 footy players on a golf course before, f- while pre-season's finished and everyone wouldn't come out okay? Mm. Well, this is what's happened um, in this case as well. And um, our little mate Andrew McCulloch makes an appearance in this one because we know how much of a piss wreck he was <laughs> when he used to uh, <laughs> pay, pay footy. So we've got another one for you, Andrew. Um, it's just stupid shit happens on these – on these. You, when you used to be able to play these. The one hole that really got us come undone um, was the streets hole, like the ice cream. So we should be sponsored by streets. Mm. Uh, and these holes had um, – they were making sl- – it was like a slushy machine, but obviously alcoholic slushies, which was great. Anyway, we had these um, bean bags that were sort of – you know that uh, it's not like leather, it's like fake leather, yeah, those yeah, beanbags. Yeah. So really weird. Anyway, the boys sort of be all right to um, muck around in this certain hole um, and a fair few of those beanbags. So one led to another. A lot of boys are hitting, the be- hitting each other with the beanbags, getting a bit aggressive. Um, <laughs> our little mate Andrew McCulloch decides to run over and jump on one of the beanbags. <laughs> And does his ankle, like I'm talking high ankle sprain, pretty bad, um, straight away. And if you've ever met Mako when he's had a few and hurt himself, he really lets you know about it. Too. He's like, Whoa! like really, you know, in a whingy way. That did, it didn't finish there. He's fallen into the slushy machine, knocked it fully over. <laughs> so. There's not there's bird seed ev- everywhere. The cage is rattled. His cage is rattled. <laughs> We're trying to get him back to the cart. Um, and at the time, uh, Ivan Henjak's our coach and has seen what's happened. And we've had to divulge what's ha- uh, happened to us. He got sent back home um, early on that trip, on the bus trip, and um, we all stayed. But it just shows you um, when this one guy keeps commenting on all our posts, Andrew McCulloch, and tells me not to talk about his mm. stories, well, let's just stop being a dickhead and it'll be fine, mate. <laughs> 